Hi guys, welcome to my channel Pandora Art. My name is Pam and in today's video I'm going to do an open cup hole. So for this artwork I will be using PVA glue mixed with water as my pouring medium. So the pouring medium that's 70% glue mixed with 30% water. I've added a bit of 10% of Australian floral to this mixture. Now, the base coat, I'm using black acrylic as the base coat. And as for the other colours, I'm using carmine, it's a carmine red. And I'll be using vermilion red by Dash. Bright yellow, again by Dash. Sky blue. From Crafty Color, Metallic Gold from Montmartre, and Titanium White by Atelier. So I've mixed my base coat black acrylic and I'll be laying this on the canvas. Um, as you can see, I've actually painted the edges black as well. So it's important that you have an even coat of this base coat, and I'm using a palette knife to spread the paint. So once I fully cover the canvas, I'm now ready to pour the paint. For this open cup pour, I'm using a small coffee cup. I've cut the bottom part out and pouring the colors through that opening. First of all, I'm adding the carmine red. It's kind of like a dark watermelon color. It's a beautiful color. So I'm just adding a little bit. And then I'm gonna add sky blue. and then bright yellow I'm gonna add vermilion red just a little bit Titanium white and metallic gold. I'm going to repeat some of the colors again. So, adding carmine red just a little bit. And a bit more yellow.
and finally I'm going to add a bit of black and also pour in the rest of the black around the cup so that there is enough paint to drag the open cup. So now I'm ready to drag the cup. I'm going to drag it kind of on a diagonal angle across the canvas. And I'm doing that really slowly, taking the paint along with the cup when I'm done. And then I'm going to tilt the canvas so that the paint can move around and hopefully make the shape of a butterfly wing. Apologies, my head is in the way of the camera as I'm trying to get the paint to spread a bit more by blowing into it. I'm trying to form the shape of the butterfly wing and I feel like I've got one side of the wing. So imagine looking at a butterfly wing from its side. That's the look I'm trying to get here, but the paint doesn't seem to want to move. So I thought I would use um, a hair dryer to move the paint. As you can see, the hair dryer blows air really fast. So kind of um, to control the airflow, I'm covering the back of the hair dryer with my hand. But because the hair dryer blows air so fast, um, I gave up and it's not going to do what I needed it to do. I really want the paint to move kind of into the middle. So I'm going to stick to my good old basics and continue to tilt the canvas for the paint to spread and then use a straw to blow out some of the paint. At this point in time, I realized I don't have enough paint of the black base coat paint to move the paint to where I want it to flow. So I brought the paint back into the middle of the canvas and that's when I realized, hang on, it's actually starting to make the shape of the wing if I keep tilting to the other corner. Because there seems to be enough black paint on that corner for the colours to flow, so I went ahead with that. I kind of like this hairy butterfly I call it angel hair butterfly I wanted it to modify the edge so I'm running my finger through the paint to modify the edges I then used a toothpick to run through the paint to give it a more angel hair kind of a look.
so I've done the modification using the toothpick and I'm done with that and I'm gonna use the blow torch to pop some bubbles on the paint as you can see the heat of the blow torch can create some cells in the paint which is nice right so I'm not happy about this big area of karma in red it's kind of overtaking the design I feel so I'm going to use the hairdryer to see if I can push some of that paint off the canvas so I'm going to use the hairdryer here but it's still not doing what I wanted it to do that's two strike for this hairdryer I'm not going to use this again <laughs> what I'm going to do I'm going to scrape some of that excess carmine red and add a bit of black to cover the canvas so here I have removed the carmine red and running my finger through the paint to just tidy up the edges So guys this is the end result and it turned out really beautiful and I've put clear resin over the canvas to give a nice glossy effect as you can see. I hope you like what I did with this open cup pour technique and hope you guys give this technique a try and if you like my videos please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Again, thank you for watching guys and I shall see you next time.